<laughs> Did you feel that? Oh my god. I, I wasn't even on it all the way back then. I wasn't even smashed on it. That was just like pushing it down kind of hard. Oh my god. This <laughs> Tesla rips. <laughs> there we go. I'm on. Feels so, really good. Feels huge. Feels so big. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> to the channel everybody i am not in rhode island if you couldn't tell i am in texas if you guys follow me on instagram you probably have realized oh i think someone's trying to get in hold on hey you wanna you wanna say hey hey guys <laughs> uh the ice of rhode island is thawing right now and same with pretty much everywhere in new england so uh i got invited to texas and i couldn't say no and I probably won't be ice fishing for the rest of the year, but I decided to take advantage, come to Texas, and for the next, like, I don't know, maybe week and a half, I'm gonna be trying to film open water content for you guys, finally. Whether that's gonna be pond hopping, out on a boat, I'm not really 100% sure. We just got done filming three whole days of Goo Goon Squad videos. Um, you guys definitely should look forward to those. They'll be dropping pretty soon, hopefully. I'll leave it linked down below the Goo Goon Squad YouTube channel so that when they come out you guys can watch them because it was absolutely insane probably the best last three days of fishing i've ever had some of the biggest fish i've ever seen in my entire life were caught right next to me so it was pretty cool but we have a, a one more fish that was caught today um that i'm going to show you guys it's still in the silver bullet rackley's bow lfg so i'm going to open up the live well and show you guys the fish oh there he is it's a white crappie smells really good too does it? No. <laughs> Dude, look at this thing. Like, this is a huge crappie, and he's just drooling slime all over me right now. But this is just one of the big fish that were caught today. It's just insane. Pretty awesome, you know? I, I was not sure how it was going to be because we were coming off of a literally bad freezing, just snow, and the water got cold. But it had been warming up, so I had some hope. And the first day we went out, it was it was tough, you know. But we started to see that some fish were up shallow. They were moving up. They just weren't biting. They were kind of waiting for things to warm up again. And the next day turned out to be just a big bass slugfest. Uh, I think all together with all of us, we had over a 35-pound bag, best five. Um, just amazing day of bass fishing. Today... We had a little trouble with the trolling motor, but it turned out to be <laughs> oh, a yeah. blessing in disguise. Yeah, let's, 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 let's see this. Let's this see this. Clean break yeah. too. Like there was Look, nothing left. Hey Lojo, what uh, what happened to this trolling motor? If you don't want to, I, I <laughs> happened to it. That's the only thing that needs to be said. And the funny thing was, I wasn't even operating at the time, but somehow I feel responsible. It, that is a clean break. Yeah, I mean, like, there's that's, nothing left. That there's only one blade on that thing. That's not good. The real best part was when we tried to use it, and it just did that. 
little <laughs> wobble, just shaking, shaking the whole boat. But uh, yeah, what he was saying was basically today was insane too. We caught, I caught my PB crappie four or five times. I We kind of lost count after a while. There was just so many big fish crappie caught and like the biggest I've ever seen, hands down. I thought Perrick was gonna be here. He told me he was gonna be here working on the van. Oh, uh, you know, that van is, is probably gonna be like a two year uh, working experience. <laughs> when I first true. talked to him, he was like six months and, and the van's gonna be done and it's been, it's been like a year, right? It's been a hot day. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's been a while. And then we got, we got Jerry. Jerry over here. Just a local cameraman and editor, no big deal. Jerry, tell me about how you feel about the last couple of days. You, this is your post interview too. Mm -hmm. um, well, the fishing was good, so hopefully I didn't screw anything up and forget to hit record. Focus. Focus. Better be on point. <laughs> how was my uh, performance at Guggen Week? Your performance was pretty good. You know, it started out a little slow, but definitely came out with a banger for sure. Those crappie were... That was unreal. Isn't it weird, like, being in front of the camera when you're the cameraman? <laughs> you, I saw you get a little red. You're like, oh, my God. I know. You're always the one holding it. And then we ended up doing Catch and Cook, too, with the crappies, and that was delicious. But, yeah, YouTube channel for the Googs will be linked down below, you guys. So definitely check out the videos when they drop. I'm going to kind of show you guys the warehouse. I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times, but it's pretty cool to me still because this place is freaking awesome. I would live in this warehouse easily. Just, like, throw me an air mattress. Stacking up? Well, yeah, you know. You gotta get yeah. blue baby bandito bugs. I know, you let me realize today I don't have hardly any bandito bugs. Yeah, there you were low. Hmm? Where is the light switch? Ah, uh, is this it? There we go. This is the place you've seen. I don't even know. It's all over YouTube. This is the Guggen place. It has pretty much everything. It has the rods, the tackle, the baits, the clothing, hats, and it has the best part ever. I'm going to show you guys the fish tank. We got Gary. We got two bass, actually. We got the big fish, which is Gary. Bluegill, bunch of bait fish, bass, and then you got big Gary right here. Gary's looking nice and healthy. The two bass actually were like making a bed or some sort over there yesterday. It was pretty cool. You got all the merch you could possibly want. Camp Claw merch for John B. The whole nine yards, everything in here. I actually, in the Guggen Squad video, I went in here and I kind of grabbed whatever I wanted. Grabbed a rod, grabbed a bunch of baits and whatnot. But if you guys did not know, the Junior Contender, the Contender, the new Revolver Topwater, it's uh, gonna be a top water like prop bait. It's pretty sick. They got everything you possibly need. But if you guys want to go pick up any of this, it'll be linked down below. You can use my code, code Becca, and you can save 10% off of everything you see right here, except for it is going to be online. You have your tackle boxes right here, the money bag. These things are absolutely insane. You can put everything and anything in here for your boat. I have so many of those. The line is up here. It's pretty much the biggest wall of Guggen baits you've ever seen. Got a couple rods there and everything. This place is just stacked. It was so cool to finally see this place face to face in person besides of just seeing it on YouTube because I mean, it's on the Guggen Squad channel. It's on a bunch of other Fisher YouTubers channel as well, but seeing it face to face was so freaking cool. I'm so happy I finally got to come to Texas. I know I've been like hinting it to you guys for quite a long time saying I'm gonna come here, but then things kept coming up. Ice fishing ended up getting really good. I had other trip opportunities and I kind of just kept putting it off and then they asked me to come here to go chase after big fish. Couldn't say no, could not say no. But we're probably gonna wrap things up here and I'm gonna take you guys back to the hotel. We'll talk about a couple more things, do a couple more stuff, but uh, the boys are tired as well as I because we've been fishing our butts off. So I'm gonna go back to the hotel, kind of relax, talk to you guys, and uh, tell you guys a little bit more about what's gonna happen this trip because it's gonna be an exciting one. Okay. It'll, it'll pull this address right up and it'll show you like there's a hundred options. Okay, so, yeah, I'll look. I literally don't care. I just want something that's not gonna take like an hour and a half. Here we are. 
I'm finally in my hotel room. Lojo is, I think, two doors down. We just ordered some food. It was just such a long day, so we're just looking to kind of just relax for the rest of the night, eat some food, and hang out. And then I'm actually going to bring you guys along. We're going to go fishing tomorrow. I'm just going to, you know, continue this video into tomorrow's session. We're going to fish a little bit before Lojo has to hop on a flight, and he's going to leave and go back home to Alabama. But I'm going to be here for a while longer. So, But we want to see if we can get in some pond hopping tomorrow. We've been out on the lakes and really haven't done any sort of bank fishing whatsoever. So it'll be kind of nice to get out there and do some fishing. But once Lojo leaves, I'm going to stay at a friend's house. And then for the rest of the time I'm here, I'm going to be trying to collab with as many people as I can. I'll definitely be with Weston Smith a lot. If you guys don't know who that is, I fished with him in Florida. We ended up doing a trip down there together which was so much fun so haven't seen weston in a while i'm gonna be hanging out with him probably a bunch of other people too i know Peric said he wanted to get out in the water together too so probably be out there with him hopefully we find some bass get out on a lake and do some stuff but there's just so much opportunity while i'm here i love when you guys message me and we end up meeting together it is so much fun i've only done it a couple times but I know that a lot of my viewers, which is you guys, are from Texas because you can like you can see that stuff on YouTube, like top states that your views come from, and Texas is one of them. So make sure to message me on Instagram. Um, there's a really really good chance I'll see it and answer. Maybe not right away, but I'll probably see it. But I'm just so stoked to be in Texas. It feels so good to leave Rhode Island. It feels so good to be wearing a T-shirt. Like right now, I'm not wearing a T-shirt. I'm wearing just a thin hoodie. Which, by the way. Uh, new Guggen merch is coming soon, which is what I'm wearing right here, but you guys will see more about that soon I don't even know if I'm supposed to show you guys right now. Honestly, it just feels good to be in warm weather again I missed it and by the time I get home um, We should have pretty decent fishing and for the most part it should be like 45 to 50 degrees um, air temp at least when I get back. So that's something to look forward to. I'm kind of in Texas during the perfect time. These big bass are moving up, which you guys, again, will see in the Google Squad channel. There's just so much to look forward to. This trip is gonna be so much fun, but I'm at the hotel. We've done a lot of talk in this video. You guys got to see Lake Fork Guy, LFG, AKA Justin. And then you guys got to see Lojo, which is cool, really fun. And you guys got to see Gary the fish, but I think it'll be really cool if I take you guys fishing tomorrow and we go catch some fish because let's be real. You guys want to see me catch bass, which I want to see myself catch bass too. So we're going to wrap things up here. I'm going to eat some food, get some rest, wake up early and bring you guys along the ride tomorrow. And hopefully we get some pond bass. That is the ultimate goal. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support and giving me the opportunity to come to Texas. Without you guys, I would not be here right now. And I want you guys to know I think about that every single day and how thankful I am for you guys. Every comment, every like, every share, everything. I know it, I see it, and I appreciate it more than you guys could ever freaking imagine. When you guys like use my code at googlesquad.com, that fuels me and gets me to where I am right now too. So every little thing adds up and I notice it and I appreciate the hell out of you guys for it. But that's enough, that's enough. We're gonna round things up here. I'll see you guys in the morning, hopefully catching some bass with Lojo. back at the HQ. We got a Tesla behind us. Lojo and I are gonna be taking Peric Tesla and we're gonna be hitting some bodies of water around here. He's actually in his van right now. I'm gonna bring you guys to him. Hey, what's up? Taking your Tesla. Yeah. Uh, building a bed here. I've been working on this bed for four months now, so. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you got a lot done in here. Uh, also, uh, didn't you didn't you crash your Tesla already? I uh, hit a curb. Hit a curb? How Nobody can really tell though. It's not a crack. People, people is over everything. Okay, okay. Can you tell that it was anything happened to it? No. Oh, there you go then. Hey Chuck, what? So your battery acid just ate my whole. Jacket. Is it no, spilled back there? Really. So the battery acid just ate my jacket. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's what it was from. Okay. That, wait, okay, first of all, make sure. Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, yeah there is some leaking acid. Um, There is some leaking acid. <laughs> to drive this car, like if it ever tells you this is the key, you just have to put it right here. It, ha it has like a credit card key? Yeah, yeah, it just goes right here. Okay. And then to lock the door, you just go like, you put the key to the outside here, and then it locks. 
What the heck? Since being in Texas, I've been in a Tesla for the first time, as well as a Porsche. I can't believe I'm, I'm in I'm in Paris, Tesla right now. This is so weird. This is where we are. We're currently at the Guggen HQ, right there. And we're gonna be going, looks like south. We're gonna go hit up a pond, but look how sick this is. Oh, look at all these waypoints. Yeah, I've driven some things before that were kind of odd, so. Any questions? <laughs> that was yeah. kind of odd. I mean, yeah, yeah. See ya. It's all good. Look at this interior. Oh, oh god. Beautiful. What? Well, it was beautiful, but there's like stains all over the seats. You do so, not look like a Tesla driver. No, I don't. I don't fit in this thing very well, huh? It's so small. Is this faster than the Porsche? No, the Porsche was faster. He, they claim, but okay. let's be honest, we don't really know. Okay. Okay. Um, am I? What am I in here? Am I in drive? I don't know. How do you put it I'm in? I'm just gonna pit the gas and see what happens. Oh, nothing's happening. Okay. I must not have, must not have done it. Okay. Oh, drive, there, drive. We there we go. There we go, you're in drive. There we go. Okay. This is really scary. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> there's just, there's no like. Uh, sound indication. Yeah, there's, no, there's, there's no sound indication or uh, gear shifting. This is cool, man. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back, maybe. <laughs> he said enjoy. I'm gonna try. This is really scary. Oh I'm god. Not lie. All right. Well, you know we're gonna have to smash on it too when we get out here, right? Because okay, that's yeah. like that's like the claim to fame of these Teslas is how fast they are. I'm excited. And well, not even just the speed, like the acceleration. You know what I mean? Like it's just zero to sixty just immediately. Oh, we're trying it, especially on this yeah. road over there. If there's any traffic. Oh, I thought you meant on this rocky road. <laughs> <laughs> especially on this road right here. Just yeet into the fence real quick. Gosh, just so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel that? Oh my god. I, I wasn't even on it all the way, Becca. I wasn't even smashed on it. That was just like pushing it down kind of hard. Oh my god. This <laughs> Tesla rips. <laughs> Which way are we going? Uh, that way. Oh, okay. The direction's on. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Did you see how fast that got to 70? Oh my god! It was like two, two and a half seconds. Dude! Oh, okay. I got that out of my system, but now I'm good. All right, we're gonna catch you guys at the pond. We're gonna, uh, we'll be there in like 15 minutes, and we're just gonna enjoy this nice, quiet Tesla drive. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, so grassy, dude. That weightless lunker log might kill it. Yeah, even the clickbait if I can keep it out of that grass. Yeah, I don't know how well this... Start slanging. Shocking and winding, baby. This way you want to walk. I'm thinking Sunny Bank is probably better than that side. Yeah, yeah. I don't know though. Definitely oh yeah, there should be a fish in that theoretically. <laughs> I don't know, there's a little bit of chop, it's clear here. I don't really know. I think I, did something bite me? Oh yeah, I got bit. Something, I did not even feel it. It's so windy, I didn't even feel that. Something definitely took a little bit of my bandito bug. Shoot. Come on, zinger, don't let me down. Spinnerbait, spinnerbait. Ooh. I think I got nudged. There we go. I'm on. Feels really good. Feels huge. Feels so big. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> no way. Yeah, dude. That's not a bad freaking bass. <laughs> Look at that. Zinger, baby. Holy crap. 
Wow. Y'all should have floored fast. Damn, girl. Dude, he That's fought a hard. Two and a half, three pounder. Wow. I Good thought that Lord. was like a five from the way he hit it. I thought it was <laughs> snag, dude. Damn. Hell yeah. Okay, there's fish in here. Yeah. Here you go, Lojo Decent fam. Fish. That's freaking, I, I just can't get over how dark it is. It looks like a Florida bass, but when you look at how much grass, yeah, this and is how clear. Yeah. So, good job. Thanks, homie. Frick. All right, well. I the, keep throwing those quick bait, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> My first Texas pond bass ever witnessed here. Hell yeah. I'm so happy right now. Super grassy, super clear. Thank you, buddy. You fought like a freaking tank. There he goes. He's going to pop out right there. Hell yeah. He hit right at this weird little structure sticking out and I cast it at it at least 20 times. Finally got a bite. Feels good. Feels good. Well, if you can't tell, I'm not on the water anymore. Lojo and I ended up only catching that one fish, which was the fish you guys saw. And it was like a nice like two and three quarter, maybe three pounder. It was a good fish, but... Lojo ended up going back to Alabama. Googling week is over. It is now officially time for me just to do whatever I want. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to wrap up this video. I believe if I calculated everything correctly, this video is going to be one of my longer videos. So if you guys liked the length of today's video, make sure to let me know. I'm going to try to crank out longer form videos, but we'll see how that kind of plans out in the future. But thank you guys so much for all the support. I love you guys so freaking much. I'll catch you guys next time. Life is what you make it. Life shit's been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford. But that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive.